In the series of videos on driven modal versus driven terminal solutions, I've discussed a lot of the features and advantages that driven modal solutions offer over driven terminal solutions. But let's talk about the flip side. So what you see on the screen right now is a four terminal microstrip. And I'm covering all of those conductors with a single wave port on each end of our PCB. Now, if I wanted to assign this excitation, you'd see this window. As discussed earlier, we would select our reference objects and leave all of our signal terminals unchecked. And these signal terminals would show up under our wave port. And when we extracted our S parameters, our model block would have a pin for each of these signal terminals. So that gives us a really good idea of what driven terminal can do very well. And that's if I want more of a circuit representation of our geometry, then driven terminal really works very well. And when I want to assign my wave ports and intuitively just capture TEM modes of signal terminals, it works great in that all I have to do is select my reference and the port assignment kind of handles itself. So when it comes time to post-processing, we see that we can look at, say, a single-ended insertion loss of one of our conductors, or I could right-click excitations and choose this differential pairs option and start allocating differential pairs and take a look at some of the differential and common mode drives of our conductors and see how the fields couple to one another. Or we could simply right-click results, and now that we've assigned a differential pair, You'll see that I have this field that allows me to plot, say, differential return loss or differential insertion loss, for example. But now let's take a look at the modal solution. Now, again, when I assign this excitation, I don't really get to um, choose anything other than the, the number of modes to compute. And I get to assign integration lines, and this becomes a little more hectic a little harder to understand once I have a large number of conductors covering this port. And you'll see that we probably could handle it single-ended by using individual wave ports for each of these conductors, but that's a lot of additional setup. And the issue is that we'll often come into uh, sizing constraints and that we can't have these wave port edges get really close to these signal terminals. So now if I right click excitations, you'll see that there is no option to assign differential pairs because the driven modal solution is really not terminal based, it's mode based. We excite and we observe in terms of waveguide modes. So if I wanted to easily plot the differential insertion loss of say driving these two lines, it starts to become really hard once we throw in a lot of conductors. So for many inputs and many outputs, the driven modal solution really just doesn't cut it. Now just taking a look at an, another model, what I have here is a USB connector with several differential pairs simulated, and you'll see it kind of falls into a cable breakout with a number of signal conductors. And what I've done is I've actually broken this up into a few models that, con that consist of the connector, a PCB internal to this, um, plug and then the cable breakout itself and this is where the driven terminal solution really shines in that once I break up that simulation into a few parts you'll see that my extracted S parameters I get in terms of the actual conductors themselves I get single pins and I could drive these pins with excitations I could terminate pins with particular resistors or capacitors or inductors you'll see here I can actually throw in perhaps a matching network in between these two model components or these two model components. And if a vendor wanted a model for my component to be used in, say, a circuit, then they would, of course, need a driven terminal output because you can't give them a model that has pins for waveguide modes. It wouldn't really make much sense to them. So in this scenario, we really could benefit from using a driven terminal solution. So that should give you a really good idea of when using a driven terminal solution just makes more sense over using a driven modal solution.